Hello my AI art friends. The day we've all been waiting for has finally arrived. Stable Diffusion XL is now officially supported in Automatic 11.11 starting with version 1.5. Today I'm going to show you how to install and use it. First we need to update Automatic 11.11 .11 to version 1.5. The easiest way to keep your software up to date is by modifying the web user batch file. This is located in your Stable Diffusion folder. You can open this file with Notepad or any other text editor of your preference. Look for the section between command line arcs and the call web UI batch. Here we insert a new line that says git pull. Another thing to add is the no half VAE flag in the command line arcs. From this point onward, start your stable diffusion using the web UI user batch file instead of web UI batch. Now, if you're not keen on updating stable diffusion automatically, you can do it manually. Navigate to your stable diffusion folder and click here up on the path. Move your cursor to the left and type CMD. Hit enter and a console window will open where you can type git pull and press enter. In my case, as you can see, I'm already at the latest version. Next, we need to download Stable Diffusion XL from Hugging Face. Please note that you will need a Hugging Face account for this and you will need to sign a form. Don't fret though, it's automatically approved. Now you have to download the both Safe Tensor files you see here. Once downloaded, place the model in your familiar Stable Diffusion folder. Here. Now start Automatic 11.11 .11 as you usually would. After it started, you should now see the Stable Diffusion model listed. If you've been using a VAE, ensure to turn it off, otherwise you will end up with images like this. The VAE is just not trained for Stable Diffusion XL. Also ensure Restore Faces remains turned off. Let's render an image. Here's the scenario I'm choosing. A girl sitting in a cafe drinking tea looking out of the window on a rainy day. I want it to be photorealistic 8K quality. I set the batch size to 4, the sampling step to 35 and the sampler to DPM++ to MKRS. These are the images we got. Not bad so far. But we can further refine this. Send the image to the image to image tool. A quick disclaimer, I'm still figuring out the optimal workflow for the refiner and I might not be using it correctly. So if you got some tips on using the refiner, don't hesitate to share them in the comments below. Choose refiner from the list of models. When you switch to the refiner model for the first time, Automatic 11.11 .11 is going to download a few files. This could take up several minutes. I had to restart Automatic 11.11 .11 twice during this process. Please note the loading time might vary depending on your GPU. If you're using a decent card like the NVIDIA 4080, it should load in about a minute. If it's taking longer, go to the CMD and see what's happening. Sometimes pressing the down arrow on your keyboard can help speeding things up. For the refining process, you can leave everything as it is. Just make sure the denoising strength is set between 0.2 and 0.3. Now let's render. Wow, I'm very pleased with the result. Please remember, this is just the 0.9 model. I'm really excited about what future versions and checkpoints will bring. Also, I'm excited about hyper networks like LoRa's or Textual Inversion. What about you? I hope you found this tutorial useful. If you did, consider subscribing to the channel and hitting that like button. Your support helps me to determine that I'm on the right track with my content. Until next time, happy creating!